What's up? I'm Chris McDowell. A couple of years ago, I bought these two cigar boxes with the intention of building a cigar box guitar, but I never got around to it. Now that I don't have any project in the queue, I figured it would be a good, good time to go ahead and do it now. So I figured the best way and the easiest way to get into it and to learn how to do it would be to order a kit. So I bought this kit. I found some kits on cbgiddy.com, and this is what I picked up. It's just the basic three-string cigar box guitar. Here's what's in the kit. The cigar box itself, got the instruction booklet, how to build it, uh, the, all the essential hardware, uh, some strings, I included a slide to be able to play it, uh, the electronics, a piezo pickup with an input jack, and I included a fretting guide and some fret wire, although in this one I'll just be doing a fretless. A cigar box guitar just following the instructions. Uh, one day I do want to learn how to do and cut my own frets, but I don't have the particular saw I need to do that. So at this point, I'm just going to hold on to this and maybe on the next go around, I'll use this and learn how to do that. This box is a little bit different than what is described in the instructions. It's got a lip around the top here, which the ones in the instructions don't. So I'll have to improvise a little bit, but uh, that'll make it fun, I think. So let's do it. So I also got this one by two piece of poplar and this will be the neck. Um, it's four feet long but I only need 34 inches of it so the first thing I'm going to do is cut this down to length. Next, I'm going to work on the headstock, and the headstock is going to take a four and a half inch long and quarter inch deep cut out of the top of this board, and that'll be where I put the tuning heads at. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out where I need to cut. Four and a half inches down. It needs to be a quarter inch deep. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Now the instruction said to use a coping saw, so I'll go ahead and try it with the coping saw, see how that works. It's going to take a while. Alright, this is taking way too long. So I'm going to go to the table saw to finish. I'm going to do this the same way I would cut a tenon on the table saw. I've got the blade set a quarter of an inch above the surface of my table saw sled. And I've got a stop block so I know where to stop. So I'm just going to eat away, making multiple passes until I get this whole area cleaned away. All right, so here's the final result of that. Uh, I got some burning here, and uh, you can see a little spot where I kind of dug into the blade a little bit. But I'm gonna take a file and file this down. All right, so I found center on the cutoff part of the neck piece. So now what I need to do is find center on the cigar box. Now this cigar box is a little different, like I said, from the instructions. And from what I've typically seen, you would notch out a piece of the bottom of the box for the neck to slide through. But since this cigar box has a lip on the lid, and the lip happens to be just about the exact width 
or the thickness of the neck, I'll be having to cut a notch out of the lid. Now I want the top of the neck to be flush with the top of the box. So obviously the top of this cigar box has some thickness to it, so I'll be notching out some wood out of the neck so that the lid can sit down all the way and the top of the neck will be flush with the top of the cigar box. So I'm going to go ahead and mark center on the cigar box. And the cigar box is exactly seven inches wide, so i got to find three and a half inches and make a mark on both sides. And that center, right where I want it. No, I'll just mark on both sides of the neck. And that'll let me know where I need to cut. All right, I'm gonna try round two with the hacksaw or the coping saw and see if I can do any better. I'm gonna to try to cut just right down to the surface of the bottom underside of this uh, lid. So now that I've got most of the waste cut out with the coping saw, I can only go so down, so far down with the coping saw before it bottoms out, and I can't, I just can't go any farther because of the way the coping saw is made. I'm gonna take a chisel and try to pare out the rest of that stuff. Pare down the rest of the way with a chisel, and then I took a file and flattened out the bottom. So let's see if it fits. So, I'd say it fits pretty good. Of course, you can see the thickness of the top, so I'll have to cut at least that much out of the neck so that the neck will be flush with the top. So, I gotta do the other side now. Alright, so I finished both, notch, both sets of notches. I've marked two inches up on the bottom of my neck piece. And I want that to stick out of the bottom. I'm going to line it up the top. So that's what it's going to look like. So now I need to cut away the thickness of the top and then plus a little bit more, just about another sixteenth or eighth inch, so that the top can vibrate. I'm going to go ahead and make a mark on this side and Take it to the table saw and do the exact same thing I did earlier with the headpiece. All right, so you see I cut away the thickness of the top. So I put it in there. It's now flush with the top. So. Now what I need to do is trim away another about sixteenth to one eighth of an inch just from the center section here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact process as I did when I cut the tendon. I'm just going to raise the blade just a tiny bit and make multiple passes until I eat away about a sixteenth of an inch all the way across. All right, here you can see the step. Still left that initial cut so that it can still rest on the top of the cigar box and then you can see the extra relief I made so that it will stick away from the top of the cigar box so that there will be uh, room for air to pass and for the top to to vibrate. So here's what it looks like in the cigar box. You can see that uh, the relief cut I made so that it wouldn't be touching the top of the box. Well that should do it for part one. It's looking pretty cool so far so uh, part two will be up next where I'll be adding everything else. So check back uh, so that you can see how it turns out. I'll see you later.